about safety on the bus and keeping those who drive it safe, including Sheriff Clark. You did it to me yesterday. Ow! It's violence caught on camera. A teenager assaulting a bus driver. It has Robert Dowden on edge about his job. It's an ongoing problem. It's, going, it's getting worse. The attack is only one of a few incidents in the past week, several this year. On TMJ Force Daybreak this morning, Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark says bus drivers need more protection. Today, a, a, a ride on a Milwaukee County bus has become a frightening and intimidating experience. Clark says he's tried talking to Transit Administration in the past, suggesting these safety shields in all buses to protect drivers. The driver's enclosed. You can't get to the driver. So I've talked about that. I've talked about giving them some defensive weapons. The union who represents transit employees claims of the hundreds of buses on the roads, there are 25 to 30 with safety shields. However, in the past, drivers didn't want those safety shields. Well, some people don't like to feel enclosed. Um, you know, the shield does enclose you in there and you're in a small area. But now that safety is an issue on the bus, some drivers have had a change of heart. So we do have a few operators that have been assaulted in the past that have requested buses for shields, and we have accommodated them. Those who ride the bus say something needs to be done. You never know who's, who's going to get on. Yeah, you certainly do. And the union says the main problem isn't the money for the shields. It's designing a shield that won't glare and make all bus drivers comfortable. Live at the newsroom, Nick Montez for today's TMJ4. Pretty disgusting.